Well, the question is, is are we still at Serang? Lights are still red, but they would be if we move to Middlesbrough or if we move to Charlton or if we move to Manchester United. I'll let you know in a minute. Roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome to Chump the Champ. I'm Waylands, but most people call me Wally. Today, we've got the start of our season with RFC Serang. That's right, we're still here. We're going to go and drive this season like we stole it and see if we can do a smash and grab job and finish in the mid-table again. Transfer-wise, I don't have, have have a lot to talk to you about, I don't think. I, I, re I really don't. Uh, we've got this guy in on loan, young Senegalese boy Abdu Sek here. He's on loan from Mets, so we're not paying for anything for him, so that's good. He's the right winger. He's, as you see, he's reasonably quick without being super quick. He, he's reasonably solid across the board in every other aspect he needs to be in. He's got a better, good work weight, good off the ball, so ideally he will be good up and down that left, or that right flank, rather, when we're playing the um, the four two three one, which we will be going into the season with. Nicholson, I'm still trying to bring back in on loan. We're having issues with that at the moment. Uh, we brought Santos back just because he's a known quantity and we got him on a cheap loan again in. So welcome back to Santos. Um, new faces from the youth. Guy de Wagner. Now, De Wagner is coming in. He'll be a left back. And you know what? He is not far off sharing time with Loic Retair there already. We intend to give him as much time off the bench as possible. He is our second choice left back. Straight out of the academy, 16 years old. Welcome to the save, De Wagner. Got rid of a few of our youth wages that were taking up. 300 a week on freeze there. But Gabriel Marusic, um, buyout clause was triggered by Ox Air. And yeah, goodbye, Gabriel Marusic. So we did get 240K for him. So look, I can't complain too badly. That's a good little transfer fee to for someone that we really, really signed as a stopgap in a little bit older than I would normally like to sign such a player. And we've, we've made money off him. So. I can't complain overly about that. And other than that, we've, we've got a, a few guys in on loan that look all right. I mean, this guy, Khan, he looks all right for, for a midfielder. We, um, on, on loan, I keep saying that, on trial. Uh, this guy in on trial, I mean, I mean, he looks all right. I'm probably going to offer him a contract. I've got a transfer offer in for someone at the moment. And you know what? I'm going to be paying that guy 2.1K a week and paying 40K transfer fees for him. And he's not that much better than this guy. So we might offer him a contract and see. So, yeah, Khan's one to look out for. Uh, the other guys weren't much chop, really. Um, I mean, this guy, was I was hoping he was going to be good. But he's, oh, no, he's a new guy that I've just got in. Right, I'm hoping to get this guy in on loan. So he's coming on, on trial just so we can sort him out and have a look. See if we can add to, add to the number of the Brazilians in the team and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, otherwise... We're going to have a look at these guys, and I'll let you know when they've been here a bit longer. But the pickings have been pretty slim for us. They really have. So we go in one right back down because the losers left as well. And, yeah, it's, it's just the same issue that we've had all the way through this save is that we struggle in any way, shape, or form to, to, to form a really good side just because of our wage constraints. Uh, speaking of wage constraints, I offered... Piconi a new contract. He is on 1.2k at the moment. The lowest I could get him down to was 5k, and the club didn't couldn't afford it. And I've walked away before it became a stalemate. He's already sacked one agent. I don't think he's going to sack another one. I did nearly put him out for offer for other clubs because look at that. If I could get even 600k for him. That would give me some money to play with and maybe you know even just wage budget so i can sign someone but the, the them's the breaks i guess them's the breaks but well I'm, he's only got 11 months on his contract we're going to lose him for nothing but anyway i digress let's get into our first match of the season here zolta vagram uh we got piconi in between the sticks like retair santos uh richard Diman, who, who i'm going to start giving starts to just because i want to see him develop and Joe, you know, I think he's just about good enough with that pace. 
um, and those mentals to make up for the slight lack of technical ability at this stage of his career. Uh, Van Gonter will be to his right. Bowen and Piedaloo in the center of the park. Uh, Van Roy, Ricardo, and uh, the new boy, Sec, over here. And he's actually a natural inverted winger, so that this is even better for this guy. So I I'm really, really hoping that he makes a bit of an impact there. And we're starting with a right up front at this stage. Um, usual cast of rat bags on the bench. Actually, I've got far too many strikers there on the bench. A few moments later. Actually, do you know what? It turns out that Wally from a couple of days ago knew what he was doing and he had those guys on the bench because that is literally the best bench available. Oh, wow. This is going to be the toughest season here yet, guys. But I have faith. I have faith. Yep, let's give the squad numbers out here. Uh, let's give Guy to Wagner. Let's give him a number 12. Actually, no, we won't. We'll give you number 17. And we'll give Abdul Sek. He can have 11. Let's get the boys out there. And by G, by Jingo, by Crikey, this is going to be a tough season for us, I think. We're really going to find out how good I am at this game and how much of it has just been momentum that we've carried on because we've got promoted and we've got good dressing room atmosphere. Right out, lads. Let's... Go out there, put on a show, pump fists. First fist pumping of the season has gone well. And let's get out there against Zolta Vargem. So job-wise, I've been chasing a thread. I've been chasing a thread. It's I apply for one job and someone else gets a job. So I apply for the job that he just left. And then that happens again. And I apply for the job that he just left. I'm down to applying for a job with Charlton Athletic now. And I'm already, as you remember last season, I was thumbed my nose at a job at a um, League One club earlier. Turns out that if I'd got the Derby job, they got relegated too. So, mm. Sreefi hooks the ball in. Sreefi caused us problems last year, as you guys will no doubt remember. Bowen sticking a good foot in there though, and giving us a good chance of winning the ball back, but no such luck. Bonnet now on the ball. Down the left flank. He's got options in the middle, unfortunately. But Ricardo cuts that out well. Good tracking back from Andre Ricardo there. I'm not sure what that was from Van Gonter, though. He's just given the ball straight back to them. And Sreefi. Oh, that's a great ball from Kroon to Jacobs. Jacobs tries to chip the keeper. But no rip rip wood chip today for Piconi in the goals for us. I'm not sure if I'm offered that Charlton job, I'll take it. But but perhaps, perhaps this is this is home for a bit. I know it's, it, it's home for a bit longer than I wanted to be at home for on a journeyman save. But uh, perhaps we're near, near. Oh, I'm failing these scores there. Or foul nearly scores there. Um, and perhaps I'm here until we do something magic with this team. Right. Come on again, Van Gonter down the flank. Speaking of something magic, we could do with something magic right now, gentlemen. All right. Gives that to Van Roy the boy. But Van Roy just... He didn't even contest that. What is Van Roy the boy doing there? Look at the size of the lad. Come on. Get in there. Oh, that's a good ball for Fahl again. And Fahl. Oh, but he can't beat Piconi between the sticks. Oh, that's... If we lose Piconi for nothing at the end of the season, I am going to be livid. I really am. I really am. Let's just um, pump the fist here. Let's get the season off to a good start and we'll... we'll throw all the all of the fist pumping out we'll give them each group a secondary fist pumping and get out there and put the ball in the goal ricardo he's taken a knock great and all right is done already okay so it is time to make changes already we're gonna give ruben logs a try up front but i'll sort this one because i'm not sure what i want to do here what I might do, if I'm quite honest, is move Ruben Logs over there, push Ricardo up, and we'll bring on Charlie Caton here. And he can play in his false nine role there. And let's see if the two up front can make the difference for us here. This might get a bit crowded here with the false nine and the inverted wingers, but never mind. Let's get out there anyway. Let's get these guys out there on the right foot. And a good way to start the season. Push the wrong button. Good work, Wally. You're good at that. It's your favourite trick. Match-wise here. Oh, 
I'd like us that would be nice to score from a set piece. We haven't seen that for a while. Good to see Sack running back and getting that though. Oh, but he loses the ball in the middle of the park now and the tackle falls to Sarifi down the flank here. There's oh I mean we've been tight in defence, but how how much more can we be tight in defence? And oh this is a tough game. These tackles are flying in left, right, and centre around here. Shooting finds Fahl again. Fahl is causing us all sorts of problems here. Oh, and Jacob, he's just falling over in the box there. That is no way is that a penalty referee. No way. Don't you dare, very accurate referee. Don't you dare. Oh. Come on. Piconi. He's already here, eh? Let's see if he can make himself a bigger hole. Sarifi goes up here and he beats Piconi. Oh, dear, dearie, dearie me. I don't want to see you stinking penalty. Come on. I don't want to see you stinking celebration. I, I, I've had enough of it, I tell you. Sec is done here now, so we are going to bring Vermeulen on, and that'll be our last sub. The like for like change there, Sec, for Vermeulen. So. Vermeulen's someone else I would consider moving on if I got an offer. For, if I got an offer for him, I'd consider moving him on because. I get the feeling that this season might go a lot like this unless I find some reinforcements really quickly. I make, like I said, I've got my feelers out for loans. I've got all those guys in you saw on trial. But at the moment, things are just not quite going our way on the pitch here and they're not going our way on the transfer market either. Rightio, we're going to encourage everyone that we might as well go attacking for the last few minutes and... Turn everything on. Everything's already turned on. Radio. Let's go. Come on, boys. See if we can pull one back here. This is not good. Zolta Weiger and are in our wheelhouse. And they're the team that we need to be... We shouldn't be losing to deal against. Right. It's just a terrible ball. The passing is shocking. We've just given the ball away so many times. Van Roy, the boy, again. Finds Bowen, who passes a better one to Caton. Caton drops it down to Logs, But Logs gives it to no one. Because that's what you do in this team at the moment, apparently, is pass the ball to no one. Retair crosses the ball in. One of his trademark crosses. And no one can get there. I mean, that should have been a goal. <laughs> that should have been a goal. I, I am uh, not happy Jan manager on the side of the pitch at the moment. Van Roy should be first to that one. That's if he decides to put in effort. He has, on this occasion, graced us with some Billy Big Steps there, but we lose the ball again. I mean, these back two, I think, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Van Gonter has his one in four I um, haven't turned up games, but what can you do? We, we had chances there. We had chances, and we blew it. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't like what I saw from this team, yeah. The, the guys that were furious, they were right to be furious. Right, let's go and have a look at the schedule, which I really haven't had much of a look at myself yet, and find out when we're going to come back to you. It'll probably be around the end of the transfer window, I would imagine, and we'll do a bit of a transfer special maybe. Let's have a look here and see. Why do I always miss that? Oh, it's, oh, it's the schedule button. Rightio, so that is probably going to be the end of the transfer window here. So we might play against these guys. It'd be long again. Actually, what we might do is I might we might do like the transfer deadline day thing and see how that pans out and then we'll skip Lommel and then we'll come to you for Charleroi. We haven't played against Charleroi on camera for a while. Let's do that. Let's do that. Well, not the best start to the season there and not the best transfer window either. We've got a lot of work to do across the next couple of weeks if we're to mount any sort of campaign at all this season don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new here my name's Waylands. thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time